Hello everyone and welcome to the mill. Today you have Carol and Molly. Hello. Today we're going to talk about a few updates. We're going to go over the newsletter. We're going to go over Gears of Corruption and some of the drama that's followed that release. Talk about a new item on the progress chart and um, the upcoming apiary expansion. Anything else, Carol? Well, I think that covers it and I fear we might as well just start off. I think the big news on everyone's mind was, oh my gosh, how fast did Gears of Corruption sell out in the U.S. and Canada stores? Yes, yeah, so that was the drama I was hinting at. It sold out within a few hours, and I believe every store, Stonemeyer did scramble and found some copies, so throughout the day. Yeah, the, the U.S., stores, uh, I yeah. think, got hit the hardest, and... They were able to work some magic in. Later in the day, they got 200 more ironclads in there. It was the ironclad that really was selling out everywhere. I think U.S. and Canada, even both versions ended up selling out. They were able to find, um, once they got through some of the shipments, they were able to find some more standard versions in the U.S. So I know some people have been really happy they clicked that back in stock notification. So if you did mess out, very sorry for you but yeah just click that back in stock notification they're trying to move some things around so maybe you might get lucky and something will come up otherwise retail is going to get it next month they're going to have limited quantities at gen con and they're already starting another print run to come out later this year yeah it was uh, but that was nice the second print run coming out this year still they were yes. caught off guard completely by this it sounds like we um learned from Jamie some of his process and how they base their numbers on the amount of people who responded to the surveys they send out to Yeah, he said fun. they, uh, yeah, to quote him in, because he's put this all over, I believe it's on Facebook, Discord, and put in so many newsletters at this point. He said the size of the Ironclad expansion printing was eight times larger and the number of Expeditions newsletter subscribers who told them in advance they wanted the ironclad edition of the expansion. So he said they used that for a lot and then other data points were forecasting, which included other expansion sales for other products, the Facebook group size, the brand specific subscribers, the game's sell through rate, how many people are actually playing the game. So there was a lot of data points that were put into consideration when they made that print run. Yeah, they put a lot into it, and I do feel bad for the people who missed out on it, truly. Stonemeyer, I feel, was between a rock and a hard place. Um, one of the things I love about them is they're like a small business still, and they um, invest a everything they earn pretty much back into the business, so they're very low on cash flow, and it's a risk to overprint anything, which we learned from, I believe, the puzzles and the wingspan vision-friendly cards. Yeah. They take a hit on that, so they try to make as many as they can without hurting themselves for future things, and definitely felt sh fell short in this one, even though yeah. it was eight times yeah. what was surveyed. Yeah, and they'll be the first to admit, like, they had no idea would do this. Yeah, it's, I mean, obviously, I wouldn't think any company wants to underprint on purpose because they want to sell more because that's how they make money. For sure, so, yeah. yeah. So that's the drama that's out of the way, I feel big. like. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, that's the big Gears of Corruption. Um, we also have Dusty did an unboxing and reboxing. So if you are having troubles putting it all together into your big box, those who do have it, make sure to check out Dusty's video. Then I also have a solo playthrough where I go about half a solo game. And it does show you how the Corrupted Met gets integrated from the expansion. So if you're looking for some more Gears of Corruption content, whether you're eagerly waiting to play or if you're getting it maybe in the next day or two, or if you have questions, we do have those out already. And you can always leave us questions in the comments on this video or any other video too. Yep, and there's gonna be one more shorter one coming out next week. Along with, I was thinking we're a bit behind, I might do playthrough of these three realms. Dice Throne, yeah. Terraforming Mars, Eminent Domain. We want to catch up on those for y'all. <laughs> um, 
Yeah, before uh, we already know Redux is uh, coming at least to Stonemeyer's web store, I believe. Didn't Jamie say end of July for Rolling Realms Redux? Yeah, it's it's coming shortly. I believe it's the thing we'll be talking about next. Yep. So uh, plenty of Rolling Realms coming your way. And you had that sneak then, peek of the dice. We um, Carol and I talked a lot about what the color we thought the dice were going to be. Yep, I was totally wrong. I definitely thought they were going to go some sort of like Stomeyer orange and red or yellow or something. I was feeling orange uh, nope. and yellow. I don't know why, and I couldn't be more opposite. <laughs> yep, had it completely wrong. But I mean, the, that picture looks beautiful of the bright purple. But maybe for oh. Sto or Rolling Realms Redux, Redux, they'll do orange and yellow. <laughs> Redux squared. Oh my gosh, that'd be crazy. <laughs> um. All right, well, you want to go to our next piece, Molly? Sure, so maybe we could talk about the Apiary expansion. This has been teased, I believe, don't quote me on this, I believe, as a more stuff expansion. Um, I actually don't know much about this yet, but I'm very excited for it. Carol and I became friends with the designer, and um, I'm excited to get her on here and talk to her a third time if we can. Oh, yes all the Connie Volgerman because mm -hmm. she is coming up with some great designs lately between Apiary and Wormspan and now an Apiary expansion. Yeah. But yeah, we're... Jamie has, um, in light of the Gears of Corruption craziness, he has been posting kind of surveys on Stonemeyer, on Discord, on all the newsletters, just trying to get people, trying to get a better idea to reach that like questionnaire of, are you planning on buying this expansion? Do you think you will? And that's where we kind of have the idea that it's a more stuff expansion is with all those little surveys he's said. It, he's just mentioned mm. it's closer to just a more stuff expansion. So trying to gauge interest a little better. So everyone, um, fill in those surveys if you can, because it directly affects how many copies they make. Yeah. Um, speaking of Connie, we could just segue <laughs> into the progress chart because a new item has appeared on the very bottom of it, and it is an expansion for Wormspan. Yep, Which... only has one sad little yellow dot on the on the progress chart, though. Then design. Which, it's a ways away, but um, I'm very excited for the Wormspan expansion because Wingspan expansions are all continent themed, and this is a fantasy world. So are they going to make yeah. up continent names or are they going to go a whole different way? I'm really excited to see what they're going to do with it. That would be interesting. They don't really define the world. Wasn't Connie like talking with people and someone had kind of named it and she was thinking of going with it or something? Yeah. I'm, I'm trying to remember. But We're yeah, going to have to um, get her on to interview her about the Apier expansion and try to tease what we can about the worm span one night. <laughs> Oh, yes. Without All getting things. her in trouble. So, yeah, looking, at the, looking at the progress chart, uh, 2024, we're already, it says Q3 Rolling Realms Redux is getting really close. Codename Keep. And then the Apiary expansion. Looks like that's going to round out 2024 for anything big for Stoutmeyer Games. Which is exciting. A big full release of Keep. Along with yep. some... And right now, all they have listed for sure for 2025, it looks like Codename Crow and, well, Vantage, which is the other part of the Stonemeyer yes. newsletter where Jamie just brings up to date anything with that. And he's also sent out, I believe, two design diaries to those who have subscribed to Vantage. So if you're still curious about Vantage and kind of his process with that game, that's another newsletter. He's really tried to kind of deviate different worlds for newsletters to keep people in the right kind of world or board game. And we have, the, of course, the coins, which um, was unprecedented for Stonemeyer. I feel like you get a little <laughs> glimpse into the feeling of the game with the coins, because yeah. Stonemeyer's coins are always oh, yeah. very thematic. We definitely, this tells you, like, they look kind of futuristic, but when we were um, at uh, Geekway to the West and I was teaching Jamie Witcher, I had just picked up my Vantage coins from the booth and yep, we definitely played the Witcher 
old world with the vantage coins. They that. didn't match at all, but they were metal, and I didn't have metal coins for that. So, yep. We used vantage coins for Witcher Old World. Worked Did you perfectly put the puzzle fine. together and make a little, like, symbol? I love that with my the vantage coins. My kids have been doing that, actually, when they're, <laughs> they go and they take it. They That's the first the thing my wife cool. did. I'm <laughs> um, just looking at my notes here. What else did we want to cover? I think that was all I had in my notes. Yeah, I think so too. Um, it feels like not a big time and also a big time at Stone Meyer. Um, yeah. Definitely gearing up for probably the end of the year here too. Mm hmm. Yeah. So, so we'll have a little bit more uh, Gears of Corruptions for you next week. And mm -hmm. then sometime in July, I think we're going to be able to start talking about Rolling Realms Redux. Yep, which we'll have an unboxing for, for sure. And I'm sure Carol and I will do some plays. And, yep. And all that. I'm excited to see all the um, realms fitting in one box. Can't wait to see that. <laughs> Yeah. All right. Well, I think that's yeah. all we have yeah. today from the mail. Thank you so. for watching, everyone. See you later. Bye. Okay. Bye.